Hey, it's uh, Joe Maddalena here at Heritage Auctions uh, with Curtis Linder. We're going to be talking about the upcoming September Americana auction. Mm -hmm. You got some really cool things. You got to explain yeah. these buttons to me. I don't yeah. get it. Joe doesn't know, does not know a lot about buttons, but I can enlighten him today about the rarity and desirability of these buttons. The first one I want to talk about is the Kennedy button. It's part of a set called the Big Four. Uh, they were made by a friend of Joseph Kennedy Sr., the father of the future president, during the 1960 campaign. And he brought them up to show Joe Kennedy up in Hyannisport, Massachusetts, at his estate up there. Well, Joe Kennedy did not like these buttons. He said <laughs> it made his son look dead, he looked gray, not very good looking, and it is said that he took the buttons and threw them across the room. Okay, so Kennedy campaign buttons must be a dime a dozen. So the majority th of them are. These just don't exist? No, there's only a handful known uh, of this variety. Um, we have this estimated at $20,000, and we already have a bit of $10,000 on wow. it. Wow. So how many of these survived? I'd say less than a dozen. Okay, less than a so dozen. So, if you're a collector, less yeah. than a dozen. Think about that. Yeah. The most famous president in the last hundred years. Yeah, one right. of them. And this uh, particular image of Kennedy was taken on the campaign trail uh, in Nebraska in okay. 1960. Okay. Um, so it's a pretty important button, and if you're a Kennedy collector, you really need it to round out your collection. And I think what's cool about these is the stories. Whenever I'm in the Americana department and you tell me a story, I'm always like, I get it. But when you see these things and you don't yeah. really know, it's kind of like, what are they? So the next one is my favorite. If you want the best button in the world, sell me. This is it. Cox Roosevelt. In 1920, a very young, 38 years old if I'm not mistaken, Franklin Roosevelt was asked to run on the Democratic ticket with Governor James Cox of Ohio. And we, we, we surmise that these buttons were samples because there's less than 50 uh, examples known of Cox Roosevelt jugets. And by the, by the way, jugit means it has the picture of the president, uh, the candidate uh, running for president, and also the vice presidential okay. candidate. So that's what the term jugit means. Um, they come in different varieties. They come in 7 eighths inch all the way up to an inch and a quarter. And this one came from a wonderful collection in California. We were just really pleased to have it. And if you have the funds to buy something like this, this is certainly the, would be the cornerstone for your collection. This is estimated at $30,000, and we already have bids, I think, up to 16 or 17. Okay, so the cornerstone of a Roosevelt collection, a political, explain to me the cornerstone of what? Of, it could be just a general collection of someone who just collects jugets of all candidates, okay. starting back to Abraham Lincoln. It could be someone who's just trying to put together a collection of only Cox Roosevelt jugets. And there are collectors who out there out there who have five or six different varieties, and they like to get all the varieties if possible. Um, so that, when I say a cornerstone, uh, it, it could be the cornerstone of a general collection, it could be the cornerstone of just a Jugit collection. So, and also you were telling me the condition of this thing is exceptional. They're, they're beautiful. It uh, has original whitehead and hoe back paper, it's well centered, uh, excellent sepia tones, no damage whatsoever. It's one of the best examples I've ever seen. That's cool. So yeah. this auction has amazing things. I mean, I've been here for almost a year now and, you know, I, I keep telling Curtis, I think this Americana sale is one of the best you've ever had. Uh, in my two and a half years, I'm going to have to say that's true. Okay.